How do you normally have him greeting people? You know, I'll let them in. I'll have the shot collar on them. You know, don't shot be scared. Shot collar? Why do you have a shot collar on him? Well, just in case, it's he'd be on better behavior with the shot collar on. There's a lot of things where he tries to challenge me in certain ways, trying to be like the alpha dog. And I, I let him know that I'm the alpha male and I'm top dog. And I'll grab him and I just throw him on the ground and, and that's it. It blows my mind when I'm hearing Eric talk about the whole dominance theory and pack hierarchy mentality because it promotes such a confrontational relationship between dogs and owners. All right. After showing Victoria all of Casper's damage inside, Eric shows her what happens when they go outside on a walk. OK, you just keep back. I just want to see. Thank you. Let's keep walking on. He's totally freaked out. Do you see his hair? We call it pilo erection. Yeah. You know how the hairs on your arms stand up when something's freaking you out? Uh -huh. That's what's happening with your dog. This is a display of an unconfident dog being insecure, the fact that another dog's going past. I wanted to stop Casper's reaction ASAP when another dog walks by, so immediately I started teaching. Have you ever walked with food? No. No. I want you to put Casper in a sit, and I want you to put the treat in front of his nose. Wait for the dog to go past. If he doesn't have a reaction, then, give it then, you, then you give it to him. OK. Sit Get down. his attention, make him sit. Good boy, put the treat. Stay. That's it. Focus stay. on you. Good. Okay. Like it. Victoria has the dog walk by again. Tell uh, him, sit good down. boy. Good boy, Casper. Good boy. Nice. Sit down. Sit down. Good boy. Nice. Uh -uh. Boy, stay. Uh -uh. Come here. Good, good. boy. Nice. Good now boy. give it to him. OK, good boy. Good. Nice. Sit down, good boy, Very Casper. good. That's some progress right Very there. Very good. Progress. Do yeah. you see? Yeah. You don't need to be doing all of this. It's all shocking. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Give him a motivator. This is just a glimpse of things to come. Victoria is concerned about Eric's belief that he should dominate his dog. So she introduces him to one of Mike and Earl's biggest success stories, Lisa and Elu. A wolf. Elu heel. She's actually in tune to Lisa. Like, Lisa slows down, she'll slow down. Now that's good healing. It would be lovely if you could get Casper to do that. Good that's girl. what I want to do. That's real relationship. That's beautiful. Good girl. Positive good reinforcement. Girl. Right there. Good job, Elu. Mm -hmm. Now, if that wolf can begin to trust people, the possibilities with Casper are endless. Could you tell me a little bit about what your experience was with her? I found very early on that I was having some difficulties and knew that I needed some extra help. Sought out a trainer to show me how he worked with his own animal. He had it on a pinch collar and he hung his own dog in the air. And after the second training, which was the first hands-on, I got my first bite from her. You got your first yeah. bite? So many people, when they have that dominating relationship with their dog, all trust is broken down, and then the dog suddenly goes, you know what, I've had enough, sod you, bang. I needed to look for options that were more humane, and so... you so, met these guys. Oh, I met these guys. Hallelujah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they've seriously become my best friends. The type of training that they have implemented with her, she's learned consequences and respect in a humane way. I liked how Mike and Earl helped Lisa train Elu. Elu's definitely respecting Lisa, if they're able to train a wild animal like Elu, they got to be able to help me train my dog, Casper. Victoria is in Scarsdale, New York, training Eric and his Presa Canario, Casper. Today, Victoria has something she wants to help Casper get off his chest. Eric's using a massive chain that he got from a hardware store in a padlock around Casper's neck, and then a massive chain leash. It looks scary. I wanted to give you a present. These are the top of the range colors you can get. Beautiful leather, very expensive, handcrafted, fitted exactly for Casper. Oh my God, thank you so much. It's like unlocking a chastity belt. Yep, that's it. It's done. Done. Goodbye forever. Oh, now look at that. Doesn't Ooh, that boy. look better? Casper's definitely looking tight in that new collar. Now, yeah. what does he do with leather leashes? Does he ever jump up and bite the leash? Is that the reason why you've got a chain leash? No. I've never actually really used a leather leash. There is one. Oh, this right is great. Right for you. This is great. Now, I've seen how Casper pulls you everywhere. You've got to be able to control him on the street. Previously, what Casper's learned is that if he pulls, you're going to allow him to go where he wants to go. No, no, no. If he pulls, he actually goes off in the other direction. OK. OK, so 
You're telling him you can get to where you want to go, but you just can't pull me. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Casper, come on. And when you when you want to encourage him, do a let's go. Okay, now he's pulling you. Go off in the other direction. That's it. It's with a let's go. Okay, you have to cue him. Turn around again. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Nice. Keep. That's it. He's pulling again. Go yep. off. Turn around. Let's go. As soon as he pulls, there you go. The walking leash training I was having a little difficulty with. I mean, Casper's really trying to pull still. It's definitely going to take a lot of time. Casper, let's go. Nice. Try not to pull him up. Try Casper, and do it with your go. body. Get him to follow you rather than pulling you. As soon as Eric stops trying to force Casper, he starts to get a positive response. Like it, Eric. Good Brilliant. boy, Casper. Good boy, Casper. Very good. Beautiful. All right. OK. Now, let's make him sit. Don't pull okay. him. Casper, sit. sit. At your side. Casper, sit. Good. Nice. Good boy. Beautiful. How do you feel about that? I feel great. I'm going to put the hours in and the effort, and hopefully, you know, I'll get it to be where I want it to be. Good Brilliant. boy, Casper. This is a special kind of harness. And what it does, and I hope this is his size, you have to fit it so it fits pretty snugly all around the body. Um, and it leaves the dog, rather than from the back here, leaves the dog from its center of gravity, which is the chest. And dogs that pull a lot, like Casper, if they're led from the chest, they can pull less. Casper looks like a beast on the end of this huge chain, plus the fact that Eric has no control over him whatsoever. I want the neighborhood to see that Eric's in control. How does that fit? <laughs> that looks like pretty good. I do worry that Casper might attack a child because he doesn't really know what they are, because he hasn't been socialized with too many kids. Now let's take him out. No. Nice. Casper, don't say yeah. no as you do it. Don't say anything. Just good apply boy. that pressure. And when he walks well by you, you just tell him good boy. Let's walk down here. Okay. Yeah, it's already seeming to work. We put the harness on Casper, and it worked like an absolute dream. I was even shocked. This is 500 times better, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I don't even have to strain right now at all. I never thought that the push-pull harness would make Casper heal like that, especially on day one. Good boy, Casper. Good heal. Good. Love that praise. You know, just to start from when I was first with you to now, how your praise is so much more. You know, you're marking his good behavior, and I, I just see him blossoming. He's got a long way to go, but he is making significant improvements yeah. in his behavior. He's trying to show off to all the viewers. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's like, just look at me. Praises yeah. are good. Well, that's bad. We used to use the shot collar to make him feel. I'd love it if you could just never use that shot collar again. Yeah, I'm, I I'm sure I won't have to. If you want to keep people real safe, the new people use containment. Oh, yeah, with the I understand muzzle. that now for sure. Yeah. I don't want to use it anymore. I think moments like these, successes like these, helped to bring trust between Eric and myself. Here comes this lady into my life telling me what to do. And then actually, he's seeing that it's a success, it works. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, let's go in. Come on, then. Let's go home. He's a good boy. Let's go home. Let's go home, good boy. Good boy, you don't even walk on the grass. Good boy. It's been two weeks since I left Eric and Denise, and things with Casper have really improved. Stay good boy. Let me see. Give me one of those. Stay good boy. It's a great feeling to walk Casper around in this neighborhood now, and people see how good he's behaving. I love it. Stay good boy. That's terrific. Molly, what do you think? Casper's a nice, quiet dog now. The fact that Casper can go for a walk without causing mayhem is amazing. Eric has proved that Casper can be trained, and this is only going to help his relationship with the neighbors.